Hi folks, my name is Mos for YouTube channel Logmaker360. The Internet of Things world, which is a trending topic these days, uh, we have a very big player and that's the uh, LoRa network. The LoRa network is a network set up by uh, commercial companies to uh, connect sensors. But uh, there is also a open source a network which is uh, easy to connect with but uh, for this you need your own gateway and uh, I ordered a very cheap uh, gateway it's a uh, uh, Dragino uh, shield and it fits on an Arduino and with this you can uh, build your own gateway which has a range of probably 100 meters very small but you know it's a lower network if you want to play with it it's a good way to uh, build up some uh, experience with LoRa and uh, that's the reason I bought it. I am not going to connect this to an Arduino but to a Raspberry Pi because uh, on this shield there is a S6-1276 uh, chip and I found a sketch on GitHub which uh, is pretty easy to uh, clone. Let's try it out. And uh, this is how I connected the shield to the Raspberry Pi. We are using the wiring Pi configuration and it works with our SPI connection and we find the SPI pins on the wiring Pi. We have to uh, enable the, the SPI inside the Raspberry. Go to uh, menu, preference, Raspberry Pi configuration and click on interface and here at SPI click on enable and click on OK. Now uh, open your terminal and make a new directory with the command make dir and we call this directory gateway because the Raspberry Pi is gonna be our gateway and open gateway so we open the directory and in this uh, directory we going to download a file from github. I will uh, put uh, the, the link in the description and from here we going to open the file inside our text editor and you can do this uh, with uh, nano but I prefer to do this with uh, leafpad because leafpad is uh, way better visible. And uh, this command uh, opens the uh, leafpad editor, text editor. And in here we gonna make some changes. Uh, scroll down until you come to uh, configure those values. And make sure that uh, the save select pin is set to 6. And this one to 7, the reset pin to 0. Just as you connect them to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the spreading factor is 7 and very important make sure that your uh, the frequency is set to uh, the same frequency as you have on your board so what's on the back side of your board and there are three different kind of boards and make sure that you uh, pick the right one in my case it's uh, 868 megahertz. Uh, set uh, your location so find your latitude, longitude and the altitude you find them in uh, Google Maps and over here uh, put your uh, email address in there and just write down some uh, additional information and there is a default uh, server with this number and uh, this one works for me otherwise you can probably try this one out it's uh, port 1700 and these are all the settings you have to check go to uh, file save file quiet and we are back inside the terminal and inside the terminal simply type make and this will make the file and after uh, the file is created 
run it. And then I got this nasty error log. Unrecognized transceiver. And I looked on forums and I found out that the board I am using is the V1.3. We have uh, three different boards. The V1, the V1.2, which are powered by 5 volts, and the V1.3, which you can recognize by those six yellow uh, bridges. And this one is powered by the 3.3 volts. And I have a 1.3, so I we use the wiring power library. And I connect it to the 3.3 and over here as well on the SPI. I made it 3.3 as well. And I put an extra count and uh, give it a new try. And you see this time it's uh, starting up. And over here on this line, that's the gateway ID. And you have to remember this, so it's good to write this down. And the open source uh, LoRa community is uh, called the Tinks Network. And their website is uh, thetinksnetwork.org. And I have to sign up. Uh, make an account. So uh, down here I click on uh, create an account. Type your stuff in there and uh, press on uh, create account. And if everything is set up, you press on uh, go to the dashboard. And uh, down here, uh, I click on uh, add a gateway. And I make a, a title, I call it uh, Palmstad. It's a suburban I live in. And on the map, I uh, select my uh, location. And the range is, I think, 100 meters. It's active and in here I place the ID without the uh, columns and I click on uh, save. And you see on the Things Network website uh, what happened right now. There's a new gateway made by Moss Logmaker and if I press go then it opens the map and right here this is my gateway. And you can pick your uh, gateway information up on uh, the Things Network website and go to the API and copy this uh, URL and on the end paste uh, the gateway identification number and refresh the page and you'll see that it uh, provides the uh, API. And this information is the same information as we have uh, here. And you also can ask for a JSON, which is shown in here. This is the end of the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, please let me know. I like to uh, read the comments. Have a look on my YouTube channel, Logmaker360, to see more videos about the Internet of Things and Arduinos. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.